Hey, uh, guys, I want to address something that we occasionally talk about on the show, but uh, which I still believe to be kind of um, <clears throat> underserved in the pantheon of general things about which we should be concerned when thinking about the future of this country and our society, okay? Uh, let me start with Elliot Cutler. Now, Elliot Cutler is a prominent Demo Democratic campaign donor and two-time gubernatorial candidate from Maine who was arrested the other day on four charges of possession of child pornography. Seriously. Each charge, if proven, carries a maximum sentence of five years in prison, yet our man here was held on only $50,000 of bail. So this guy Cutler is a mover and a shaker, folks. If you're from the state of Maine, chances are pretty good. You've heard of him. Now, the easiest thing in the world for me to do would be to come before you, smoke pouring out of my ears, and claim that he got cheap bail because that's just the first step in a series of steps to get him off easy for his crimes because he's a Democrat. It's an attractive point of view. I'm going to admit that, and it could even be correct. But sometimes the easy things to say isn't necessarily the right things to say. And I'm not going to tack into that particular win until I know more about the situation. After all, these are only allegations at this point. It hasn't even been determined that he's guilty yet. And if it turns out that he is guilty, I'll be the first one to denounce that asshole to the sky. I just think that we should be careful about automatically assuming someone's guilt when we see a news story just because they happen to be a different political team from us. Nevertheless, it brings into sharp focus the very large elephant that's been sitting in the room of social discourse for quite some time now, so I want to talk about that. The subject of pedophilia and pedophilia-related things has been all over the place lately, from congressional hearings for the Supreme Court Justice nominee Ketanji Brown-Jackson to the still-smoldering fires left in the wake of the Jeffrey Epstein debacle to regular discourse and opinion pieces, discourse and opinion pieces in the media. Now, we're definitely all thinking about it. And interestingly enough, right now, most people on both the right and most of the center of the left come pretty close to agreeing on how bad it is and sometimes what needs to be done about it. Those aren't the people I'm worried about, of course, and they shouldn't be the people you're worried about either. The people I worry about are the radical left as per our usual agreement. And there's something we've talked about before on this show that's starting to creep in, and that is a budding acceptance of pedophilic behavior. Listen, I don't imagine that the hard left is going to fall on its own sword defending Elliot Cutler, even though he donated a shit ton of money to a lot of their campaigns over the years. He's not worth the risk, most likely. But the notion itself that pedophilia isn't as bad as we've always thought it was is getting more and more attention as time goes on. Now, you can call me a conspiracy theorist if you want, but I'm telling you this isn't far off. There are already people working to make the distinction between those who commit acts of pedophilia and those who just want to. And I'm not saying there's no daylight between those two categories, but I am saying we should be aware. Because as we all know, the left never stops right there. Not when there's a dominant paradigm to subvert. So if Elliot Culler is guilty, throw the damn book at him. If he's not guilty, let him be. But let's face it, he's probably guilty. Probably guilty. If you are in possession of child pornography, bro, where there is smoke, there is fire. We got to stop normalizing this stuff.